Hi, it's Marilyn here. Today I'm teaching you massage techniques to improve comfort in pregnancy and they are also relevant in the context of labor. You will need a little bit of padding, some blankets, a bowl, a bed pillow and a birth partner or anyone supportive, a friend, sister, partner, anyone uh, ready to contribute to your well-being today. I see you on the mat. So here we are with a little demonstration of a few key massage techniques that can be performed during pregnancy or to support labor. Um, so Claire is here uh, uh, demonstrating with me. She is eight and a half months pregnant. <laughs> Congratulations. We are getting excited um, about your, uh, you know, the end of term coming for you. Uh, so those uh, massage techniques are quite relevant end of pregnancy. Uh, we can get a bit more uh, uh, discomfort in the back and we uh, also starting to think about uh, an active birth uh, and some movements and pain relief techniques uh, for labor. So our uh, position, Claire here we have also Izzy, the dog, which is not, isn't leaving uh, Claire's side today. So we, we're going to not upset her and uh, leave her to, to mother the mother, you know, to, to be receptive to, to Claire's energy, which is lovely. Um, so I've set up Claire on a blanket, uh, on a yoga mat, and also Claire is sitting on a cushion here on a pillow. Is it? Would you come and show? Let us see. That's it. So quite a good system here. I've got the, the ankles are padded here with, the, with the, the blanket, and we've got a thick pillow here for, for Claire to, to sit on. Okay, so I'm going to act as the, the birth partner here and I'll show you how I could. Oh, how about if you came on this side? Is it that we could? How about that? Is that a good side also? That's it, no? <laughs> you must still be on camera. Oh, she's really snuggling to your tummy. <laughs> so we've got um, different techniques here that can uh, act as distraction during labor. So Claire is leaning over um, what could be like an armchair. We we'll place the bolster on top of the chair. Uh, we'll show you also with a with a bowl uh, in a bed. So techniques that can relax mom during um, labor uh, help pain relief as this sort of light touch technique. So um, just making contact with mom's uh, body, skin, and then uh, using the backs of the fingers or the, uh, the, 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 the nails, the fingertips, trying to give mom uh, goosebumps here. Okay, so a little bit of, of motion without much uh, um, organized um, uh, technique, you know, just improvising here, coming close. Now you, you're jealous, are you? Okay, all right. And then um, let's um, imagine that um, Claire would um, be uh, during labor, so resting between uh, the sensation and then um, being uh, more active during the sensation. So say if Claire had the, the urge of, um, of a sensation, you know, coming, coming through, so she'd come up from uh, sitting on the heels and start to more or less brace herself for, for the for the duration of the sensation. So for her starting to sway her hips, that's right. Um, possibility, uh, if, um, if Claire was not so, uh, if was on, on, on outside of a, of a pool or, you know, not, not laboring in water, she might be holding a tense machine. So we could, you know, imagine you have the a little um, a pain relief device here in your hands, some maybe electrodes here onto the back two in level with the bra line or a little bit higher and then two around the sacrum area so she might be pressing the the, the boost button of this of the uh the tense machine to get some relief and like uh, she's doing now practicing some lovely exhalations wonderful okay so at that point the birth partner whilst mommy imam is um is is, is moving i would say he kind of steps back and only steps in when, when she needs him, like she uh, uh, or her. Okay, so uh, she, you know, she you step back and let mom do her thing during the sensation. 
and then perhaps uh, attend to her massage while it's um, in between sensations. So if the sensations are finished, Claire goes back to relax and to leaning forward. A uh, birth partner can come in with uh, offering um, cold uh, drink, uh, maybe something to, to taste in her mouth, uh, just basically attending to her needs uh, if she has any. any. Okay, um, to relieve a bit of tension that is more or less building in the, in the pelvic area because the, the uterus muscle is, is contracting, um, what that um, birth partner could do is to bring the hand on the sacrum and the palm of the hand and come and offer some support here. It could be a while uh, man is sitting, a little bit of rub onto the sacrum area, both hands or two thumbs technique also, okay? Encourage you to practice this with your birth partner so that uh, you two as a pair can uh, work out what, what feels the best, okay? And often, you know, moms will have a, a very precise preference whether they like uh, your palms or your thumbs, uh, knowing that if you are preparing for an active birth uh, on the day, uh, her preference may change. <laughs> okay, so birth partner would be uh, completely uh, in tune with, with her wishes and her needs. Okay, um, then if you came up a little bit clear, so say at this point, probably another sensation would come up, so you could perhaps choose to to deal with uh, the next surge with one leg forward, perhaps your left leg forward or your right leg, yeah, whichever, that's it, lovely. And it's just moving forward and back, that's great. Excellent. Lovely. Excellent. Nice. Okay, good. So here we're opening the pelvis. There's a little bit of asymmetric movement here in the height of the pelvis that's really helpful. To help babies descend. Wonderful. Good. Okay, and then if we, you brought your leg back, now on this time staying a little bit up high. Okay, so leaning forward. Why don't we say we demonstrate as well that uh, you could lean over the ball instead of leaning over something static. And if you're using a ball, always recommend to to cover the ball with something nice and soft and then from this position we're staying a little bit higher this time we could encourage our daddy to come close or birth partner here to come close and uh, place both hands on the hips here and apply a little squeeze in towards the center all right so a little squeeze and release squeeze in the hips and releasing Squeezing and releasing, okay? So more um, appropriate, um, perhaps between sensations, okay? Rather than during the sensation. But again, it, there's no right or wrong way. It's really up to you as a team to, to decide and to, to try and see how things go, okay? So trying to get a bit of that um, tension uh, to, uh, to release. And offer some some comfort. Another technique is what we call a little shake of the apples. Here, we're just shaking the hips slightly, just to help the circulation. All right, and it tends to feel quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So really nice and a bit of fun as well. You know, we, a labor should be a, a wonderful and uplifting experience where uh, the, the, the birth partner and the, the mom are, are in tune and make lovely memories. You know, for a lifetime. Okay, and so improvise, talk to each other, find out from your from the laboring mom what feels right, and then um, being uh, ready to step in when she needs you. Okay, um, always a progression and a variation of kneeling or sitting. And if I was sitting, then we're using the ball. We got the the option to rock left to right. Okay, all right, 
So massaging on the sacrum with the palms, the hip squeezes. Sometimes, depending on your proportion, you can practice the squeezes with um, birth partner's knees. You know, coming closer here, but it's um, it depends. You, can, you guys, you guys can can work out what what technique works best. And always recommend that birth partner is really sat comfortably to the right angle here in for, uh, behind mum because. If um, I was sat on the side and had to perform the, the, the massage, you know, after a while I couldn't really cope for, for, for very long. Uh, we want birth partners to be able to cope for as long as mum needs, needs, needs it. Uh, so their comfort, uh, whether it's also them keeping hydrated and, and nourished and fed, you know, eating and, and um, grazing during, uh, during labor is a good idea and um uh just yeah making sure that your your everyone is comfortable all right mm -hmm. hello you mm -hmm. hello you yay well done okay she loves pregnant moms mm -hmm. just like me <laughs> well done sit okay and lie down to the lie down okay she carry on <laughs> okay well done so um pressing the palms uh shaking the apples easy they down Good girl. Or oh, uh, the hip squeezes. I remember also that sort of effleurage or light touch here to help mum feel distracted uh, during uh, labor. Okay, have fun practicing. Uh, remember that you don't need to wait for um, being in labor, to wait for being in labor to, to benefit from those, those uh, massage techniques. Uh, you can totally uh, request, you know, uh, one of those massages uh, after a busy day, uh, if you're sitting a lot, if you're working at a desk or, um, you know, if you're experiencing pelvic girdle pain or things like that, there's some conditions in the pelvis that some uh, sensations that can be quite uh, intense and unpleasant. So it's uh, those massages are techniques are a good way to keep happy about your pregnant body, you know, and to, to find some way, some, uh, some relief. Okay. Good luck with the techniques. Enjoy and then leave us some feedback if you um, uh, have managed to find one that is uh, that is suitable for you.